Hi, I'm Candace Tope Phillips, a trainer and curriculum development specialist at the Administrative Office of the Courts. Today we're going to be discussing Zoom breakout rooms, how to create them, assign participants, and move participants, and some basic understanding of the breakout rooms. A couple of things to go over. As you see, I have two participants waiting in my waiting room. This room that I have open on my gallery screen and says in the meeting is what we're going to call the main session room, right? So before we allow people in from the waiting room into the main session, we want to create our breakout rooms and you can create these inside the session. So if we're going to create them inside the session, we simply click on more breakout rooms. We never want to choose automatically or let participants choose the room. We simply want to assign manually. And then we're going to create how many rooms that we want. So again, we can create up to 50. For today's example, I'm going to create three. Now, if you want to rename a room, you simply hover over the room, click rename, and simply rename it. I'm gonna go through and rename my rooms. If you need to delete, you can hover over the same and simply delete. If you need to add a room, simply click add a room down at the bottom and it's gonna add a new room for you to rename or delete. Recreate recreates and resets everything that you have done. If you press the recreate button, it's going to take you back out to that main screen where again, you can create a different rooms. Next under options, we suggest that you only check mark automatically move all signed participants into breakout rooms. This allows when you assign them and open up the room, they continue, they will move automatically to those rooms. Next, let's talk about who can assign and move participants. For an upgrade to the Zoom desktop application, now host and co-host can move and assign participants to breakout rooms. Again, this is for the current upgrade to the Zoom desktop application. It is not available in the web version or mobile application. Again, with the current upgrade to the Zoom desktop application, now host and co-host can move and assign participants. So now that we have all our breakout rooms, let's first allow our participants inside the main session. Now that they are in the main session, when you click assign, you will notice that the participants' names appear beside the room. To assign them to that room, simply click next to the name. It will put the name down below to the room that you have assigned it, and next you can see that the number has now changed from assign to one to allow you to know how many people or participants are inside that room. To connect them to a room, simply click open all rooms and that's going to send these participants to their breakout rooms. You will get a notification all participants have been invited to join the breakout rooms. Now you can see that there's a green dot beside the participant's name, knowing that they have joined those rooms and they are waiting in those rooms. Now, as host and co-host, you have to manually join the room. So myself being host, if I would want to join the courtroom, has to select join over beside the breakout room. It's gonna ask you, would you like to join? And you're going to click yes. And now when I open it up, 
you can see that I'm now in the breakout room. And up above, you will see that is now titled courtroom to let you know which breakout room you are in. If you would like to leave the room at any time, you simply click leave room and it's going to take you back to that main session. Now you as the host are back to that main session. If you open up breakout rooms, you can see again that the participants are still in their breakout rooms. Now let's say it's time for my participant down here to move to the courtroom. Simply hover next to the participant and click move to. It's going to list all the breakout rooms to the side and you're going to select the room that you would like to move it to. Let's move them to the courtroom. And now you see that Brian Phillips has joined the courtroom. Broadcasting messages to all allows the host to send a chat, which is a written message to the breakout rooms. Only people that are using the application will be able to see this. Can't respond to this chat, but send notifications sent out. So for example, if you needed, if you were moving everybody to the courtroom or moving them into one breakout room, you could simply type a message to everybody. And it would broadcast those messages to the breakout room. To close all rooms, simply press close all rooms. And what is that going to do is move every all the participants inside a room back to that main session. As you see, the breakout rooms have not started. There's no green dot beside the participants to let you know their room and they are available here in our main session. A couple of questions that I usually get about breakout rooms. If someone is in a breakout room, can anybody else in the main session or other breakout rooms listen or hear that conversation? The answer is no. But everybody in breakout room one can talk and listen and see each other. So again, if you are in a separate breakout room, you cannot hear or see what's going on in breakout room one. But if you are in the breakout room together, you can hear and see each other in those breakout rooms. Another question is recording. If I'm recording and moved to a breakout room, does the breakout get room get recorded? If you are the recorder and recording the session, whatever appears on your screen is going to be recorded. So for example, if you are in the courtroom and move to breakout room four and recording, it will record the session. You, however, can press pause, so it pauses the recordings as you move around from room to room. Today we learned how to create breakout rooms, assign and move participants, and the basic understanding of breakout rooms. Thank you for your time and attention.